Here the aluminium sheet is loaded into our Flow WMC2 water jet cutting machine which has a single cutting head, a 3 by 2 meter bed and a 60,000 psi pump. The sheet is pulled into the machine stops and clamped. There are two types of cutting nozzle on the machine and the nozzle in use here has a plunger type height sensor. This drops down at set intervals to locate the top surface of the sheet. The water jet has garnet introduced at the nozzle and the high pressure jet accurately guides the garnet following the position of the CNC drives. Garnet is naturally mined fine sand which performs a cutting action whenever we cut metals. However, fabrics and thin non-metallic materials are cut with very high pressure water only. The Flow WMC2 has a dynamic cutting head with two extra drives contained in waterproof bags. The dynamic head compensates for tapered cut edges due to the divergence of the water jet. Divergence has been a problem with water jet cutting until the introduction of this new type of machine. The onboard software can compensate for any material up to 100 mm thick with the nozzle having up to 8 degree vertical movement for a full 360 degrees of rotation. The accuracy of the dynamic cutting head ensures that all holes are round and parallel and no secondary operations are needed to maintain accuracy. After cutting, the parts are washed to remove any residual garnet. The skeleton is then removed and stacked for recycling. There are 10 components to the sheet and 40 smaller different components maximising sheet yield. There are 8 holes to be tapped. M6 and a countersink is first used to break the edge of the hole to prevent a burr being formed whilst tapping. Here an air operated orbital sander is used on the back face to produce a smooth finish. The large hole is abraded to remove any remaining garnet dust which will wear and damage the tooling for flanging. Cleaning with a cloth to remove dirt and dust. Next process is to countersink four holes on our manual Bridgeport mill using a single flute cutter. This is the final operation at Cirrus Laser for the complete component. One big advantage of the water jet process is the minimal amount of burrs formed on the cut edge of aluminium. The machine operator has sufficient time to tap, clean and countersink 10 components whilst the water jet is cutting a whole sheet. At one of our subcontractors, the components are flanged in a 200 tonne press using specially manufactured tooling. The component is placed on the base of the two-part tool and then the top half is brought down to form a 22mm high flange. A visual inspection is made to ensure that the tooling has not marked the surface of the component. Checks are made periodically on flange height and flatness. Special transit boxes are used to safely remove components without damaging the flange lip. Another subcontractor machines the lip to form a sealing face. Here the component is located on a spigot mounted on a faceplate. It is critical that the sealing face is machined parallel to the back face and concentric to the flange datum. A wire erosion machine is used to manufacture the complex shape form tool. This is the roughening sequence, followed by the tool change for the finish close limit cut. Here is the finished component, either part finished and then superimpose the component shown on this clip with all the features including machining.